voyage, his posting was on the Titanic. So the plan was that he was going to sail to New York and get himself established there. And once he was settled, he was going to come and fetch the two boys across. My grandfather was only five and his older brother was 11. So he said goodbye to the two boys on the 1st of April 1912, the day that he started work on Titanic. And he told them both to be good and that he would see them again in a few months' time. In the meantime, they were going to stay with Aunt Mary out in Bonnie before in Carrick Fergus. And she had eight children of her own, so two more she probably wouldn't even notice. And uh, that was all well and good, but he gave them specific instructions before he boarded Titanic. He gave them each two new pennies out of his last wage packet, and he said, don't spend those until we're all together again. My grandfather describes how he watched the next day as Titanic sailed out of Belfast Lock, and there's a picture of it behind you, a huge big picture on the wall. He was standing on the shore at this little village at Bonnie before, and as he watched Titanic sail away and round by the Copeland Islands, he was clutching those two coins so tightly in his hand that the date of 1912 was nearly burnt into his palm. And he said he couldn't understand why everyone else was cheering, because for him it was a sad day.